Get ready to discover a technological milestone that could redefine naval power in the 21st century. On December 27, 2024, China unveiled to the world its first drone carrier of the 076 class, named Sichuan, after one of China's provinces. With an impressive 50,000 tons of displacement, this vessel is not only the largest of its kind ever built by China, it is a key piece in the country's maritime strategy. And here's the reason why you'll want to watch until the end. We're going to reveal how this ship operates stealth attack drones weighing up to 15 tons and how it positions itself as a revolutionary weapon on the global stage. You won't want to miss the details of this strategic transformation. Sichuan isn't just big, it's functionally impressive. Larger than many American helicopter carriers of the WASP and America classes, and even the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, its size is a reflection of its purpose. This ship combines two essential functions an amphibious landing dock for ground operations and an expansive upper deck optimized to launch and operate large attack drones. Unlike conventional drones such as the American Reaper, the focus here is on heavy combat stealth aircraft designed to operate autonomously or semi-autonomously in scenarios where communications may be severely compromised. Want to understand how this ship and its drones could be used in combat? Stay with us because next, we'll explore its revolutionary engineering. The 076 class is literally built around its drone operating capabilities. Compared to the previous 075 class, Sichuan features an expanded upper deck with space for complex aircraft maneuvers, electromagnetic catapults similar to those on the Fujian aircraft carrier, enabling quick and efficient launches of heavy drones, and landing systems with arresting hooks designed to handle high-speed landings. These features suggest the ship was designed to maximize the performance of UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, such as the GJ-11, one of the most promising developments in Chinese military aviation. Imagine a stealth drone weighing up to 15 tons, equipped to carry heavy armaments and operate in extreme conditions. This is the GJ-11, also known as the Sharp Sword. With 12 meters in length and a wingspan of 14 meters, its foldable wings allow for greater efficiency in onboard storage. This drone is not just a piece of futuristic engineering, it represents a paradigm shift in naval combat. Designed for precision strikes and advanced reconnaissance, the GJ-11 promises to operate in continuous cycles of takeoff, attack, and return. Could it be the key to dominating the skies and seas in future battles? The big question is, how will Sichuan be used? It wasn't built for traditional combat scenarios. Instead, its design points to specific missions, such as operations of landing on distant islands, where its drone fleet can provide immediate close air support, strategic reconnaissance missions, especially in contested areas like the South China Sea, and tests of new naval warfare concepts, with the potential to evolve into even more advanced designs. While many compare Sichuan to U.S. amphibious assault ships, its approach is unique. China decided to forego vertical takeoff aircraft like the F-35B, choosing instead to invest in the disruptive potential of combat drones. Sichuan is undoubtedly a central piece in China's naval puzzle, but there are important questions to be answered. Will the GJ-11 drones prove effective in combat? How will the ship integrate with existing naval operations? And, most importantly, will we see more ships of this class in the near future? These answers may take years, as Sichuan will still undergo rigorous testing before entering active service. But one thing is certain, the world is watching. If you thought drones were just a futuristic tool, Sichuan is here to prove that the future is now. Stay tuned to the developments in this story, because it's just beginning. And remember, while we talk about advances in military technology, true victory will always be peace.